Hey guys, it's Adam here from Aethon Productions, and today I'll be showing you how to make a real working grenade! No, no, it doesn't really work. It just... Nothing happens. I'm sorry, it's, it's a movie prop, I'm sorry. Two players of pliers and a butter and a spreading knife. Spray paint and an empty axe can. A key ring. Some masking tape. Alright, first, place some masking tape around the silver end of your axe can, which is where the little nozzle would be, would have been. This is just to make, give it a better look. We're just going to cover it up to give it a better look, and obviously so we don't get spray paint on it. Uh, you make sure, you want to make sure you get it underneath the little silver rim, and make sure you're not getting it anywhere else so you can easily spray paint without having to take it off and doing it again. And you, if you can do this, you set down your axe can and you grab your spray paint and start spray painting it as it is. You start spray painting with a black, it's a matte black finish you want. As, sh as shown. This didn't work well for me, so I had, I put on a pair of gloves and held it as I spray painted it, so I didn't get it all over my hands. This also adds more weight. Uh, make sure you spray paint all sides and do a touch up on the second coat. Uh, you also want to make sure you spray paint the bottom part, bottom portion. As we set this down to let it dry. Um, we're gonna start to build our key ring. To build our key ring, we just take we just take our key ring and um, we're building a pull ring. Sorry, you take your key ring and even though uh, you can't really see it because it's off screen a lot, uh, you take your pair you take a pair of pliers and the key ring, and then you take your other pair of pliers and you start to bend the key ring outwards, as shown. To form a pin, which was giving me trouble, so I just decided to do it with my hand. So, as you see, as you, well, you saw for a minute. We, now you can see uh, that I am bending it outward as to look like a pin uh, from a grenade. Um, you also, if it, if you don't, if you're a little skeptical about how it will fit, like I was. You'll take a bigger pair of pliers and you'll start to try and squeeze it down into a more circular shape. <clears throat> and that's it for the pin. Then you want to take your, um, if you want to, to speed up the process, you take your axe can and you start to spray it with a hair dryer. Uh, make sure the hair dryer is set to cool so that it doesn't start to make this spray paint tacky. If it's set to cool, it's just blowing cool air on it, which helps speeds up the process of drying. Also, if you're waiting, you can start to think of a code you want to put on it as a serial number for the grenade type, and what number the gr grenade is in its group. As you can see, I chose AAID well, actually, I chose AA stash ID dash five nine seven five. Okay, here we go. After it's dry, you take off your painter's tape, and you'll see that you still have that silver piece and the white piece, and it looks a little dull. So, if you want to, you can take your sandpaper or a spreading knife that I had with uh, a rigid edge and start to distress it. I'm not going to distress mine because I want it to look like a new grenade. And then you want to uh, t take your pin and place it firmly in the top of the little white tube on the top. Make sure your, your axe can is empty. It might shoot out a little bit like it did for me. But just push it in there as hard as you can. This is also good because you can remove it and you can put it back in on set. As you see I'm doing right now.
Now you want to take your silver or metallic sh uh, metallic sharpie that mainly shows up on white on black, and you want to draw your code in as you could, as you see I did. When you're finished, your grenade should look something like this. Remember, this is the, isn't the same for every person. Even though you and your buddies may know this is a prop, do not use this on the street because other people may think it is real. On that note, I take no responsibility for any of your actions.